What's up y'all? Welcome to McHugh's Views. I'm McHugh and in this video we're going to be looking at camera gear. Specifically, my Adventure Travel Capture Kit. So when looking to do a ride like the Great Divide mountain bike route, I have three things that I'm looking for in camera gear, specifically around video shooting. And that is lightweight, compact, and easy to use. So let's take a look at my current camera kit and how it's evolving and why. The first thing, and most importantly, is the camera. I'm currently using the RX100 Mark III. That's a Sony, by the way, if you didn't know that. And this has been an amazing camera. It's super small, lightweight, fits right in my handlebar bag. I can pull it out when I need to take quick shots. It has the flip up screen so you can do, you know, talking head videos if you want to. It's got a 24 to 70 millimeter lens, 1.8 to 2.8, so you can get a pretty good shallow depth of field. Yeah, it's just been a great all around camera. Also with this camera, it has a built-in ND filter, but I bought a converter and added a variable ND so I can get even um, better shots in harsh light. So yes, this is my primary camera. Second camera to look at maybe, depending on the type of adventure you're doing, and if you're doing anything extreme, would be an action camera. I'm using the GoPro Hero 3. I know it's super old, but it still works and that's what I'm using currently. I love it because it's small and compact. You can get some pretty unique shots. Definitely looks action camera I and mean, that's what it is. You can put this thing almost anywhere. It's awesome. So it gives you some very unique shots. Third on my list of cameras, I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket. This thing is a powerhouse. It can shoot 4K. It's got great features. It has this stabilizing gimbal so you can get super smooth footage. It even has this function, what is it, uh, motion lapse, which does awesome. It's like a time lapse with movement. So this is super cool. Again, compact, small. No one pays attention to you when you're using this camera. I love it. So that's cameras. There's obviously plenty other options out there, but that's what I'm using in my kit. The second most important thing on the list would be a way of supporting or stabilizing your camera. So in my case, I'm using a Benro tripod. This thing is fairly lightweight, it's aluminum. You can get the carbon fiber one, but it's super expensive. So this is just easy to strap to my backpack or my bicycle rack and go where I need to go. So this is pretty awesome. Second in that realm for me that I use almost all the time so when I don't wanna take that tripod out, I'll take this little thing, and this is a Joby, mm, gosh, I'm not even sure what this thing's called, but you can look it up. It's just like a little flash clamp, I think is what they call it, but it has this little clamp on it so you can attach to poles or, or tree limbs, and then this articulating arm that you can get all kinds of angles with. And I just put my camera attached to the top here, and then, you know, set that up, I've even attached a small tripod to the bottom of it. So you can set this up and this is basically my tripod at that point. And this is a super small option for that support. So those are the essential items I think you need for adventure travel video capture. There are definitely other items that you can use to help enhance the quality of your video. So for me, first on that list of non-essential items would be audio. I think audio is extremely important and often overlooked. And I think having an external mic that you can have good quality audio added to your videos is essential. So currently I've been using a Movo, not gonna get this right, VRX, VXR10 shotgun mic. And I've had to attach it to this Zoom H1 and then sync my audio and post in Premiere, and that is a pain in the butt, but that's what I've been doing currently. Second piece of equipment that isn't essential, but definitely can give you some unique shots is a slider. This is a DIY slider. I made this, it's about 16 inches long. 
and it's super lightweight and compact and it just has two Joby tripod, mini tripods on the bottom and you can just pull those bad boys out, put this on any surface. You can even attach it to a tripod with these threaded holes and you can just slide this back and forth and get some pretty unique shots. So this has been super awesome. Uh, unique, just a, just a cool way to get some unique shots. Third on the list of non-essential items, but comes in handy is having an extra light. Light is always important and you know, you can just get some unique shots uh, with this as well when you need a little bit of extra oomph. So get a light. This is the Loom Cube Panel Mini. And yeah, it's got this little LED readout um, or digital readout that tells you your power and you know strength and such, but yeah, a cool little item. So let me talk about how my kit is evolving. So I recently purchased the Sony ZV-1 and I have three reasons for that. And the most important is the lack of an audio jack for an external microphone in my RX100 Mark III. So the ZV-1 has that, so I can put on my shotgun mic directly on my camera and get that better quality auto, and get that better quality, and get that better quality audio directly into the camera so I don't have to sync it in post. So that is a godsend. I am so thankful. Yeah, oh my gosh. So, secondly, is the fact that it can shoot 4K. And I just wanna up the quality of my video. It's just better all around. Obviously it's gonna be harder for my computer to deal with, but we'll work with that. And then third is superior autofocus. This thing has amazing autofocus. So like I said, this thing has amazing autofocus. The fact that you can just slap something in front of it and it snaps to that as opposed to trying to stick to my face and then it goes back to me. That is great. So those are the three reasons why I am upgrading my kit and I'm looking forward to sharing, you know, better quality videos with you guys and easier for me to work with. Thanks for watching you guys. If you guys have any questions about some of the stuff that's in my kit or, you know, leave a comment below and let me know what you have in, in your video kit for travel adventures. I'd love to hear about it and yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Also tap that bell so YouTube guides can let you know when I have another video coming out. And hit that like button if you like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Why did I do my phone? That was so weird. Thanks for watching. Bye.